the course starts out on very easy, flat class one water, just moving. Then the river begins to drop and speed up and gets into a class two section where it's, where it's increasing in velocity. In the middle of the river, right here by the resort, there are two very large rocks which create eddies and boily water. And so I've used both of those big rocks as part of the course. Uh, I think that the, all of the gates are runnable by everyone, beginners and advanced alike. Yeah. In other words, the boat has to be gliding on the surface, right? Yeah. If you're just drifting, then the water takes you someplace else. So you've got to have some speed along the surface. I remember one gentleman a couple of years ago was having tremendous difficulty with one gate. And when I sat down with him and I pointed out the differing speeds of the water and where he could go onto some slow water, make his turn on that slow water and then reaccelerate, he said, I never saw that before. And he went out and he ran it and he made every single gate. And he came back as if he'd won an Olympic gold medal. And he was so happy that he had figured out one way to get through this gate that he hadn't been able to do. Uh, that to me, I mean, that's one of the reasons I do this. I'm an, a teacher and a coach, and I like seeing people learn and grow. And I think most paddlers learn and grow from slalom.